All right, on today's episode, we have some really cool flea market finds. So I got this really cool 18 inch Batmobile. We have the Vampirella magazine with Gene Simmons on the cover. We got some Walton's paper dolls, some comic books, a Jethro toll pen and more. Stay tuned. All right, a quick shout out to everybody that has subscribed to this channel so far. Thank you. And if you have not subscribed to the channel, now's your time to do so. So please like, share, subscribe, leave a comment down below if you could like this kind of stuff. And if you do like this kind of stuff, let's get right into it. All right, next item up, we have this really cool Vampirella magazine. Now this is pretty neat because you have the best of both worlds, right? You have the girl and you got Kiss. You combine it, things are good. So I heard of the Vampirella um, comic book series. I have about 10 of them. I really like the covers on them and stuff like that. But obviously, you know, I, I like the girl, but I like Kiss. So it's just a super cool looking cover. You know what I mean? I love the outfit on Gene. He looks awesome. She looks awesome. You got the cool writing. I love the font on that. The font on this is just sick. In really great condition. I got it for 10 bucks. I've never seen it before. So I'll just add it to my collection. I'm definitely not going to sell it. I'll just keep it. And I've really been collecting a lot of magazines over the last couple of years. I do like them. I just, when they're in great shape and it's got nice colors and, you know, good content and stuff like that. I don't know. I just think they're interesting. It's just something I collect. And uh, this is one of them. There you go. All right. Next item's up. I got a couple of comic books this morning for like 10 bucks. And you really can't beat that. Now we have... Bill and Ted's excellent comic book and I got number two and number three didn't have the number one unfortunately but the cover on this I'll show you a close-up of it had some really nice graphics on it so with that and again with these comic books these guys played in some of my favorite films you got Keanu Reeves he played in River's Edge and if you haven't seen that I'm sure a lot of us in uh, my generation have seen River's Edge it's a great movie one of my favorite uh, Keanu Reeves movies uh, other than Bill and Ted, I like that a lot better. But the other guy, um, what was his name? Alex, uh, I can't remember, Winter or something like that? I forget. But anyway, he played in Lost Boys. And I really like these. These had some awesome graphics on it. I mean, you can't really go wrong. You got the guitars, they're rocking out, and it's just pretty funny. So I'll probably go through this, and I'm going to keep these for now. And now that I got number two and number three, I have to go out there and I have to find the first one. Now, I probably won't look for that on eBay. I'll definitely dig through comic books. There's so many comic books at the flea market, it's ridiculous. But when there's nothing else there, I'll go circle back around and I'll dig through the comic books. Like this morning um, when I got these, there really wasn't that much out there at because the, it's a Wednesday morning. So not a lot of dealers, but a good amount. And, you know, it was one guy that had two boxes of comic books and I found these. So, you know, and I, on a day like that, I'll definitely dig through them. So I found these. I thought they were pretty cool. And this is the, this is the number two. But this is pretty cool, too, because you got the skull on it. And I'll show you a close-up of that just so you can check it out. So number three, the other item I got, I really like this. This is uh, Married with Children. And I'll show you a close-up. I really like the graphics on this. You know, she's looking super cool on there. But anyway, Peg Bundy. But um, I used to watch this a long, long time ago. I really don't remember a lot of episodes, but I remember it being a funny show. All right, next item up. Here we have an 18-inch Mattel Batmobile. Now, this is probably about 20 years old, but it's not vintage, but it's still super cool no matter how you look at it. It's still the Batmobile. It's 18 inches. It's, it's huge, and it just looks super cool. Now, this one only has the classic Burt Ward Robin figure, and he's jointed up. You could bend his arms and legs and stuff like that. But maybe Batman, Adam West, maybe he had to go into the beer store, get some beer, maybe needed a cup of coffee or something. But, you know, he's pretty beat. He's just lonely sitting in here by himself. So I thought it would be pretty cool if I went to the flea market and tried to find the other guy by himself, you know. But my impulses kind of got the best of me. So I went on eBay and I found the Burt Ward Classic uh, figure and I got him for like 12 bucks. So he's coming Friday. I mean, it just doesn't make sense to have a Batman Batmobile around your house with the lonely figure sitting in the passenger seat. It just doesn't make sense. So there you go. But anyway, I really love this thing, and I picked this up on Sunday morning. Now, Sunday morning was kind of flat for the flea market. I actually went to two flea markets, and this was the only item I found. But that's okay, because at least, you know, it wasn't a waste of time. I went out, it was early in the morning, and you spend a lot of time looking for stuff, but there's also a lot of other people looking for the same stuff that you're looking for. And that's okay. That's, that's what it's all about. It's really kind of about luck. It's kind of about, you know, the early bird gets the worm kind of thing. But again, 
it's it's kind of it's kind of luck you know you can't be in every spot at once even if there's 20 people out there you just can't be everywhere at the same time but at the end of the day i think everybody goes home with something otherwise you wouldn't keep doing it right and i've been doing this for like 30 years looking for crap buying and selling stuff and so is a lot of other people i mean flea markets have been here for 50 years or more or probably probably a lot longer than that but uh, collecting collectibles and stuff like that, it's a fun thing, and it's, it's definitely fun for everybody. So, so the other thing I want to bring up about the Batmobile, I wasn't initially drawn to it just because it was Burt Ward and Adam West, and it's a classic Batmobile. What does this remind you of? This reminds me of the movie Rockstar, one of my favorite movies of all time. I've probably seen that thing a hundred times, no joke. And I'm sure a lot of you that are watching this probably have seen it as well. But I really love that movie. I just thought it was super cool. And when I was growing up as a teenager, going to uh, concerts back in the 80s, you really can't replicate that time. You'll never, you'll never repeat that in history again. And I thought that was pretty special, special just growing up during that period. And it just reminded me of when I was in my younger days. Remember going to the mall, you're waiting for Van Halen tickets. It was like a community. Even though you didn't know all these people, they were all your friends. And they were, it, everybody got along for the most part. And it was just it's just a really good time. And I could kind of see, like you go to concerts now, it's, you go like, man, this concert's really fun back in the day when I used to go to concerts. It's really not the same for kids, but I kind of get it. Um, you know, the parents with their kids nowadays, you really want your, you don't want your kids doing the same things that we did, but we didn't have all this technology and all this stuff. We had to actually go interact with people and meet people. And that's kind of what we did. You know, you meet people in the parking lot before the concert, you meet them in the concert, after the concert, and man, you'll never repeat that. It was just the greatest time out there. But I really loved the movie Rockstar. It was, it was a really good movie with uh, Mark Wahlberg. You got Zach Wilde in there, uh, Jeff Pilsen from Dokken, and you also had the cameo. A lot of people probably know this, but um, what was it? Um, Mike Starr from Steel Panther. He's in the audition scene. I thought that was really cool, and that was one of my favorite scenes from the movie. You know, when uh, Mark Wahlberg was trying out for the band Steel Dragon. So anyway, I just love that movie, everything about it. And it was really good times back then. And the Batmobile kind of reminded me of Rockstar. So there you go. All right, next item up. Super cool promotional pin. It's uh, Jethro Tull from 1977. So this is from WPLJ 95.5 radio station. They must have been uh, promoting a concert at Madison Square Garden. It says Madison Square Garden. I'll throw a little close-up on the screen so you can see it. But obviously you got Ian Anderson on the front with his flute. Now Jethro Tull, a lot of people, there's some people that are fans and not. It's the same thing like Rush, right? Some people love Rush. Some don't like Rush, and it's kind of like Jethro Tull. But I love Jethro Tull. They're one of the greatest rock and roll bands of all time. I mean... Without that, they're kind of like the co-founders of heavy metal, if you really think about it. If you listen to some of those old songs, there's just a lot of uh, oomph in their, in their distortion and everything. The sound, the sound of Jethro Tull, to me, that's like, it's, it's rock, but yet it's melodic rock, but it's metal. To me, I don't know, it's all good. It's all, it's all good. But again, um, one of my favorite performances of all time, I really like the, um, I have a DVD, I haven't watched it in a long time, but it was Rolling Stones, it was like a Rolling Stones circus from like the 60s, and it was some of the greatest performances that you'll ever see, and it was Rolling Stones, you had The Who on there, Jethro Tull, um, who else was on there, I think I, John Lennon with uh, Keith Richards, I don't remember if they were called the Bernie Mac or something like that. I forget the name of the band at this point. But anyway, some of the greatest performances I've ever seen. And Rolling Stones, man, Mick Jagger with his version of Sympathy for the Devil, when that came out, it's one of the greatest songs of all time. And I think that is one of his greatest performances that I've ever seen. I mean, I, I could pretty much, I should dig it out actually and watch it again because some of the songs on there are just awesome. And the energy that they had, Man, they were probably just flying high at that time. It was really good music uh, at the time, and rock and roll was kind of like in its infancy, like the way the British kind of took it. And all these are British bands, you know, obviously. But anyway, it's one of my favorite DVDs. Definitely go check it out if you get a chance. But anyway, I love this pin. I got it for like six bucks today or something like that, and I'll probably just keep it. I think it's pretty cool, and I love Jethro Tull. There you go. All right, next item up. We have a really cool piece of Mexican pottery. Now, I have a couple pieces of Mexican pottery, and like I said, I don't only buy collectibles and stuff like that. I buy some other stuff 
um, that I'm interested in, that I know about, that I like. And this is one of them. I thought this was really nice because it's actually two pieces. Uh, this is a little turtle shell, obviously, with a little turtle guy sticking out. But these are really well made. They're made out of some kind of clay, and they're all hand-painted. And this one is two pieces, obviously, and it's a little piece of metal on there, a little hook at the top, and his head just bobbles around. I thought this was super nice, and I picked this up for 10 bucks. You can't beat it. It's, it's kind of weird, because everything that I pick up seems like it's 10 bucks, but uh, that's, that was the price, and I didn't even haggle with her on it. I just thought it was a good buy for that. But anyway, I'll throw it on the table and uh, rotate it for you so you can see some of the... Um, the graphics on it and whoever painted this I mean I don't know how these are done or anything like that I don't know much about the history of them I know they're older not not necessarily new um, but anyway I just like the way they look I think they're well made I think I have like an owl and uh, a couple other items you know they got to have a certain look and this one if it appeals to you you know you just buy it you know what I mean so I'll throw it up there just so you can check it out we'll throw them on a table and I'll spin them around for you all right, so this one, he's just got, he's just super awesome. He's got a really cool, like, uh, there's two fish on here, actually. I don't know what those are. They look like uh, blueberries or something on the side. But I love the colors on it. These are typically, like, you'll see the brown, the white, and the blue like that. And I could spot a piece of good um, Mexican pottery from, like, a mile away. Um, anyway, the face on it is even really, really well done. I just love the way his head bobbles around. I think I got a steal for that. Now, I don't know what I'm going to do with this. Again, I just, I'm going to run out of room to put all this stuff. I got a, a couple glass showcases upstairs with a lot of glass items and stuff like that. I'll see if I can find him a home in there so he doesn't get busted or broken or something like that. And hopefully he doesn't end up in a tub because a lot of my stuff ends up in tubs because I just like collect stuff and that's what I do. I'm a collector and uh, I just, that's what I like doing. Maybe one day I'll have enough room and maybe enough showcases to put all this junk in. But anyway, until then, there you go. All right, next item up, we have the Walton's Paper Dolls. Now, I don't know why I keep buying the Walton stuff. Maybe I, I just got the lunchbox like several months back. Um, what else did I buy? I just, when I see uh, Walton's Viewmaster Reels, uh, Talking Viewmaster Reels, I got for like a dollar. This I picked up today. I paid 10 bucks for it, but it's the Walton's Paper Dolls, and it's like mint condition. Probably not a high seller, but when I see stuff like this at the flea market, again, I just can't pass it up. I'm not sure why. I really like the time, though. I like the music. And back when I was a kid, you know, my grandma probably watched this show and had it on in the background. You know, I'd probably be playing my toys or something. And I really like the show. I like the, uh, I like the house and everything. I like that time period. But one thing that I thought was funny, when you open up this book, I'll show you a close-up of it, but they, if you open it up, it's got a picture of John Boy and uh, Mary Ellen, but they're in like 70s. Why would you put them in these, like a tennis outfit or something from the 70s and stuff like that? I always thought that the Waltons was a very earlier time period than that. And I don't know what she's wearing. It's like a disco outfit or something. You know, she's ready to go to like... Uh, I don't know where she's going to party in that dress or something like that. Or it's a bathing suit. I don't know what it is. But anyway, it looks like they're straight out of the 70s. So anyway, I think they might have messed up on that. But it looks it looks cool. And I'll just, I don't know what I'm going to do with it. I just bought it today. And uh, there you go. Got it for like 10 bucks. It's in great shape. And I'll just keep it for now. With all my other Walton stuff that I don't need, but I still keep buying. There you go. All right, guys. It's time for me to rock and roll. If you like this kind of content... Please like, share, subscribe, leave a comment down below. I'm going to be adding a lot more KISS content and stuff like that. I just don't want to overwhelm you at first because I just I collect all kinds of different stuff, not just KISS items. But I like it and I know a lot of people that have subscribed to the channel and left some comments and stuff like that. I think they want to see the KISS stuff and I'm definitely going to bust it out. Um, I had a really awesome KISS score of, uh, I bought 9 or 10 records for 90 bucks at the flea market, and you will not believe what was inside these records. I'm going to do another episode probably soon. i got to get my subscriber count up there a little bit, and then I'm going to hit you with some of the good stuff. But anyway, man, that was a major score for 90 bucks. So again, if you love this kind of content, um, it definitely helped the channel out a great deal, so please like, share, subscribe, and leave a comment down below. But until next time, everybody stay safe. See ya.